Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday the 26th of November. Black Friday. Iron Bowl Friday. When it's getting cold out there, and of course everybody this morning wants to know when's the rain going to move out. Well, let's take a look and see if we can answer that. First off, the uh, Skycam images, first off, coming from Fayette up in northwest Alabama. They're down to 43 at 5 o'clock. That cold air blowing on in here. That's the uh, Birmingham Skycam. Uh, the observation up there sitting at 48 and dropping. And you go down to Clanton, they're still sitting in the 50s. They're at uh, 55 degrees. But again, what's going to happen uh, early this morning, temperatures will drop into the uh, low and mid 40s and just kind of hang in there all day today and of course as the cold air comes in we've got some rain as well there's the water vapor satellite shot deep upper low north uh, just north of the great lakes with a trailing front the leading edge of that really cold air that's covered so much of the northern states this week and there's the progression of the cold air across our state at five o'clock muscle shoals at 40 montgomery still mild at 64 but uh, that front will make steady progression this morning and again where you see 50s, those numbers will come down in the 40s, and uh, we're just going to sit there all day today. You factor in a pretty chilly north wind, and of course rain is falling this morning, and it's going to be a very raw day. There's the radar at 512. Uh, rain is widespread over much of Alabama, north of Montgomery. But really the good news, the, the back edge of the rain is already coming through the uh, northwestern part of the state. In fact, we'll move the radar up to the Columbus, Mississippi uh, uh, radar, the Columbus Air Force Base radar, and at 511 this morning, the back edge of the rain is from near uh, Moulton down to Hamilton and Forest, Mississippi. It's going to be a slow progression, but certainly with the radar like that this early in the day, confidence is very high now that the rain will be gone in time for the 130 kickoff of the Iron Bowl game in uh, Tuscaloosa, and that's great news. Here's our watch warning map. Things have really calmed down. Still some trouble spots, northern New England, winter weather advisories, and uh, got some winter weather issues way back in the northwest. But you can see much of mid-America is quiet. No severe weather problems, no winter weather problems on this uh, day after Thanksgiving. QPF chart now, this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. So this counts the rain we have this morning, and the rain we are expecting Monday night and Tuesday. And we got some big numbers on the board. The bullseye just north of Muscle Shoals with four and a half inches. Uh, this is suggesting two inches at least for the Birmingham Metro and Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, and amounts closer to one inch for Mobile and Dothan. And that deal early next week really does look like a good soaker, as you'll see. We'll check the OZGFS, valid at 12 noon today, noon Friday. Trough coming through, positive tilt. We are very blessed. We had no severe weather with this front. Although I, I, there was one kind of rogue tornado warning last night out of Huntsville for uh, Jackson and DeKalb counties at 1030. Uh, but that was no issue at all. That's the surface chart at noon today. It looks like the uh, rain will be ahead of schedule uh, based on this because I think it'll be over by noon based on radar trends. So, again, uh, rain during the morning, ending by midday. Cold, breezy, temperatures in the 40s all day. Tomorrow, we should start the day in the uh, 20s. The uh, GFS is showing 29. Of course, the colder spots, uh, colder valleys could be below that. But we'll start to warm up. The high tomorrow should be in the uh, mid to upper 50s. Sunday should be a nice day with uh, low 60s likely. Monday of next week, look at the trough out west. Down below that at uh, midday, the moisture is increasing. Winds pick up out of the south. There might be a shower during the day, but the big rain holds off until Monday night and Tuesday, and there's Tuesday. Uh, this front should bring a good rain, but there's hardly any surface-based instability involved, so uh, perhaps we'll get away without any severe weather problems again. Uh, the SPC guys have not defined anything out there in that day four through eight outlook. So uh, there could be a strong storm, but like the system that came through last night and this morning, the severe weather chance at this point does not look all that great. That could change because we're still several days out. But the bottom line is one to two inches of rain sure do look likely with that. And Wednesday of next week looks pretty cold. Highs will drop in the 40s. Strong north wind. 
And uh, by Thursday morning, we should be well in the 20s. Early in the day, but a nice warm-up. Highs go back in the 50s. There's a week from today, Friday, December 3rd, and again, uh, looks pretty quiet. Winds are out of the south, and some rain breaks out to the west. That might suggest some chance of rain that following weekend, uh, December 4th and 5th. All right, let's go a little deeper. December 7th, northwest flow aloft, trough to the east. Down below that, just cold and dry. You know, for a while, the GFS was trying to advertise a snowstorm for the deep south in here. Well, it's gone, as we warned you it probably would be. And then on the 11th, the end of the forecast period, the flow goes zonal. And that looks pretty quiet. Maybe some rain there, but nothing extremely cold. In fact, that could be a, a deal with temperatures relatively mild out there. So... Again, uh, it looks like we might get a pretty good cold shot out there in uh, December 5th through the 9th. But in terms of any wintry mischief, that's off the board for the moment. But that could change again. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, the next video I do will be Monday morning, bright and early by 7. Brian Peters will have the video updates both tomorrow and Sunday as we keep on the uh, Thanksgiving holiday schedule. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.